<gasps> leather leg armor. And leather chest armor. That's a bit of a shame because we've... Hmm. Well, the leg arm is good because we haven't got any legs. We'll make that when we get back. So there's a nice little upgrade. Fucking fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. Fan dabba doozer. <gasps> oh! Wrench. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Fucking awesome, mate. The last house. <laughs> oh, it's starting to look good, folks. Done that one. Ugh. Commercial toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you got fancy toilets, commercial toilets. <laughs> hey, what were they? See that? Oh, take a potty plant with us. Oh, I'm all excited again. Ah, oh, all the loots. Let's go on the roof. Let's use our wrench to take apart our aircon vent or something. So this is what you've been telling me about, wasn't it, Fortune? Let's turn that off. Let's... Space, let's drop that out, drop that in. I should really repair it first, shouldn't I? Um, what does it need to repair? You must read the correct book. Oh, no. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you do with that? Ah! Whoa, check that out. Look at all the springs and stuff. That is so cool. We got, oh, look at all the pipes we got out of that, mate. That is madness. Yeah, what are these, look? Aviator goggles. What do they give you? See, the, the sunglasses are kind of quite cool because they offer... Um... <laughs> oh, mate. Living the fucking dream, bro. Right, let's uh, get the fuck out of here. Right. Uh, 109 skill points. Yeah, I'm sort of saving them until we get some weapons, uh, John T, to be honest, mate. You just find a nail gun. Go wrench a car. Go wrench a car. How do we get in here? Oh! What basement? Is it a basement? No. So you want them to wrench the shit out of a car, yeah? It's not going to explode, is it? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look. Let's just get out on. Let me just do a, do a meerkat. Oh, look at the petrol and springs. Oh, my giddy aunt. That is so... Look at the durability, though. It's getting apps. I mean, you can physically see every twist. We're losing durability on that. Oh, we need to find a schematic for a wrench, like, desperately. Oh, whoa! Oh, God. A small engine. I have a feeling that's probably quite important, right? I'm going to have to get rid of Bertie. Dude. Collect small engine. Collect a car brass radiator. Uh, hubcap. What should we get rid of? Glass jars. Fuck them. Oil. Uh, what should I get rid of? Uh, leather. We can make some more of that. Fuck it. Um, let's go. Right, we're going to head home. We're full. Oh, what an absolutely awesome, awesome little mini scavenge. Oh, dudes. 
I don't need an engine for the spotlight. The spotlight is a headlight, a battery, and some iron. In fact, we were literally about to make one before the whole tower collapsed. In fact, we, were going, we should do the spotlight when we get back, actually. Let's do it. We're going to put it on this corner over here, sort of looking out over this way. Do we leave anything in the campfire? No. I'm, I'm going to need to go hunting again shortly. Oh, fucking hell, dude. You can also use the engine for a concrete mixer. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about using it for the motorbike, but, um... Is that a... That's not a walking rock, is it? So, presumably, that is a bear. So... Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, so with these, I can make the spotlight. Um, so, let's put this, this, this... This, shopping baskets, hubcaps, I mean anything, oh no, anything, oh, anything that's kind of crafting just simply goes in here. Yep, looks good. So let's bring down the fancy pants stuff. Well actually, let's take that and that. Uh, oh, what was going to do? Um, we'll definitely bring down the engine and the shopping basket, because that's used for the bike, isn't it? And the springs are pretty rare, and the radio is probably quite rare, possibly. Let's shovel this crap up here. All right, um, let's just put the other stuff away, and then we'll try and make a spotlight. And ten bloody cooking pots. Look, it's ridiculous. Shit. Hell. Where's that bear? That bear's coming over here, look. I really don't want him coming in my spikes. Uh, so this is clothes. Um, oh, can you not just scrap those? You'd think you'd be able to get, like, a cloth from the hat, wouldn't you? I'm going to keep... A pair of shades on me in case we get hot arrowheads will go in here right looking good um there's my yucca all righty how do we make a fucking spotlight eh? spotlight i think i need is it iron or something it's just the only thing i need 10 iron so that'll be over here. Let's just take all of that. Let's craft a spotlight. Gardening's a bit screwy now. How come, mate? Right, now... I was thinking about putting it here, because we know this is a solid block. Uh, we obviously don't want it on the edge. Uh, and having it... Oh, can you not? Oh, yeah, what about that? Yeah? What about that? Anyone see any problems with that? <laughs> and that would be like our beacon, because that's kind of facing southeast, which is where we're going to be travelling. It's done. It's fucking done. Right. Now, tonight... It's like that bear's fucked off now, look. Let's go and have a look at our spotlight, mate. It's a really nice uh, blue light, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh, I can feel the heat from here. Look at that. Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Oh, right, what we really want is more iron, isn't it? To keep... Okay. Right, let's all take a, a ten minute... Moment of silence <laughs> to just think about how far we've come since yesterday. I mean, ah, oh. <laughs> the bat symbol. <laughs> 
Oh, we've come a long way, especially after disaster after disaster. I mean, if you'd heard me on stream after the tower collapsed earlier and it crushed the chest, I was I was distraught, absolutely distraught. Uh, we've been up against it a bit. So scavenging is the most important thing now because that is one, it's a lot of fun. And, and two, we're getting to develop our character and get new things to build, create, whatever. And obviously, we'd really like to be able to get the motorbike. Two things that I'd like to do. We're pretty confident, or I am pretty confident, that we've learned so much that we know how to knock up one of these towers. These towers seem to be pretty good. Um, they're certainly going to take a bit of a pounding. I mean, they're not going to last forever, but they will take a pounding. So we're going to use them as, like, way stations. So we're going to want to knock another one up. So tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the forge, and I might even put a second forge in the forge house, and just keep those running to create concrete or to create cement. Um, the one thing I'm struggling with uh, on this build, to be honest, is iron. Um, iron is really hard for me to get. It's like literally every swing of the axe is like one block uh, or, or one or two iron. Um, we need a hell of a lot for the spikes. and We also need quite a lot for the rebar, although not that much. So I'm going to go and get a coffee. We'll come back and we'll carry on. What do you think we should do for the rest of day 48? What I'm thinking is we nip over to the southern side of the river. We get a load of wood and we create wooden blocks and spikes. And we go and shore up Fort Bob for day 40, uh, evening 49 horde. On the morning after evening 49, we are going to go and try and find a library in that town. That's basically the, the plan. <laughs> the, the crumb symbol. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's like just this uh, this picture of a broken, collapsed tower just beaming up into the uh, into the night sky. A second forge for your forge, so you can forge while you're forging. I love it, Jova. I love it, mate. That's brilliant. <laughs> a pickaxe for the iron. Strip the city of anything metal. I don't think it'd be as fast as just mining it because we've got minus 69er. So like two blows, rocks out, I think between two and four iron. Or is it one and two iron? And again, we seem to get quite a lot out of that car, didn't we? So I suppose if we could actually create wrenches, we could just, I mean, there's a car park in that bloody city we're about to go to where Fort Bob is. I mean, a couple of wrenches, strip those cars down. We'd probably get a few hundred iron out of that, wouldn't we? Oh, in the shelves in the shops. What do I use to break them down, Jova? Just pickaxe them. Pickaxe for the iron, strip the city. All right, all right, mate. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do that then. You can get around the need for the rebar, build cobblestone first, then upgrade that to concrete. All right, okay. Well, that, that, yeah, that would be an alternative. It's actually interesting, Zoranza, we noticed this earlier. There are alternate routes to create your, 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 your final product. Um, we learned it with the hatch. Um, I didn't have two springs to make the vault hatch, so I made a scrap iron hatch and simply used some steel ingots to create a vault hatch, um, uh, completely negating the need for springs. And that's amazing. That's really cool. You know, you're not kind of locked into one particular upgrade route, are you? For those, you know, like if you've just been really unlucky, like we are, and we've not found a wrench yet, uh, that's the first one we found. It's like day 48. I need, either need to find a mine. What are the mines? Well, when you say a mine, what do you mean? As in a mine that I make? Or do you mean a mine as in there are actually mines that I can find? So there are actually iron deposits. Oh, fucking hell, yes, there used to be, didn't there? Hey, I forgot about that. I thought the only way we got iron was just out of the stone blocks. I did forget about that. In your opinion, it's not making a mine and hope, but expand the mine until you find iron. So you just make your own mine then, Dinus. Yeah, just start digging. Shit. All right, okay. Let me go and grab a drink and uh, we'll carry on. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, Tempest. Oh, it's really weird. I can hear myself because I've got my headset on. That sounds so bizarre. I feel like I'm shouting. Um, 
Yeah, uh, your your uh, awesome donation won't go up on this because it, it's not all automated, mate. So your donation will go up on the on the banner later today. All right. So you're not forgotten, Tempest. Don't think it's not worked. And again, thank you, mate. Hugely appreciated. I'll be back in two. Right, back. Okay, let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Did we eat before we came out? No, I'm not hungry. Oh shit, there's that bloody bear, look. How dangerous is a bear? I I'm assuming extremely dangerous. I I'm talking like insta-death if it gets near you. Hey, you know what we still haven't done? <laughs> We've still not put a bed in the tower. <laughs> ah, look, this is nice. Look, a nice quarry area. Uh, I didn't actually put the feathers up there. Um, we were going to go and get trees, weren't we? I'm actually going the wrong bloody way here. Um... You know what? Let me just very quickly... Let's go and get some wood. Yeah, let, let's go and get some wood. And then we'll hit. Oh shit, bloody bear. <laughs> Fucking Yogi's following me. What's that? Simpsy hit. Oh wow, Simpsy. Oh wow, you've nearly pipped Elegon, mate. Oh my god, you're gonna knock Elegon off the top spot. <laughs> they have did that happen. Because <laughs> you're a fucking tight ass with your grum bombs going. That's how that happened, mate. One ticket here and there. I know your game. Right, let's get some trees chopped. Oh, I got an hour of uh, freedom before little Eben demands all your attention again, have you five? They got paid to it and he's still lost to Simpsy. Look, he's not been around for a while, has he?
What's that, Brian, mate? It's pretty much into the death of his. You really want the bear? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, mate. Cheers, dude. I kind of figured that would be as much. But, um, yeah, are the bears bears? Or are the bears zombie bears? Do you know what I mean? Are they infected? Or are they, uh, or are they both? <laughs> One and a half hours of blissful boredom. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice just to not have anything to do, isn't it, Five? I know exactly what you mean, mate. <laughs> Time to just switch off and say, that's it. I'm just going to do fucking nothing. <laughs> How rare that happens in this day and age, mate. I am not going to die to a falling tree. I am a fucking very proficient survivalist, I'll have you know. We have learnt our lesson. We have learnt our lesson. Right, uh, let's start making some... Oh, hang on, meerkat, meerkat. Oh, that's not a good place to be. Love the ambient noises. The other birds are cheeping. The sun's not actually out very much, but... Oh, hang on, we'll get this, look. This is coal, isn't it? It's not, not got any coal. It all, it all died in the chest uh, disaster. Take a bit of lead. Uh, la, 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 la. Let me think. Let's make ourselves some wooden frames. Whoa. No, 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 no. That would be stupid, wouldn't it? Um, let's make a hundred. It's great exploring this map. I love it. I think it's bloody awesome. Is there anything else we can use cotton for? Oh, you know, I didn't do shit. So yeah, we'll go back. We're not going to go into um, the town tonight. We're going to go back to the tower. Um, I'm going to make the armor. In fact, I'll tell you what. Should we do some hunting with what little time we've got left? Let's see if we can... Uh, we've got the way home marked. Let's see if we can pew pew some deer, get some hides. I think I need some leather. Um, you watch. There ain't going to be a single bloody deer around here, is there? Oh, there are zombies. Oh, there are both. Okay. You should start planting your enchanted forest. <sighs> Ooh, again, I've forgotten all about that, Simpsy. Fortune, what do you think? Do you think this is the old cotton, or do you think this is new cotton? Because I'm sure this is what cotton used to look like, and then it changed in build 14.5, and then it's reverted to the old in, in the experimental build. I'm sure this is what it used to look like back when we used to play it. Oh, shit. Where's that fucking deer gone? Oh, yes. Sweet. I'm uh, good at this game. I know what I'm doing. Zombies. <laughs> this is the old card. Yeah, I, I thought the same, mate. Jubbly. Oh, mate, check it out. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I am totally going to open this map out multiplayer one day. People will be able to come and actually pay a visit to Fort Grum, the first tower. Look at the reflection on the water, isn't that beautiful? They're sending that bat signal up. Oh, you're not dead, dude. Yeah, you too can come stay a night in Fort Grum. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Right, let's uh, 
See if we can find another deer. It's seven o'clock. Have you played Space Engineers? Oh, no, I haven't, Five. No, you know what? It's kind of weird coming back and playing Seven Days to Die. With, and so much has changed. Um, I mean, they've done such a sterling job on this, haven't they? Even the weather's just a, a joy to behold now. Um, the snow is, is still just phenomenal when that happens. I loved, I loved it when I saw the backpack sort of disappearing underneath the snow as it fell. Um, I bet Space Engineers is just an absolutely epic game. De definitely will revisit that at some point, mate. There's so many games I'd look... You know, I, honestly, the thought of just doing nothing but stream games all day long is, is incredibly appealing, but... Uh, you know, I, I could go and play... Um, what was that underwater one that I really enjoyed? Is it Subnautica? They, they've had some... Oh, what the fuck is that? They've had some amazing patches from what I can understand. Oh, my God! How fast is a motherfucking bear, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ, I just nearly ran into a motherfucking bear, dude. I think, well, oh, we're getting wet. Oh, it's getting late. Oh, my giddy aunt. Do not fuck this up, bro. Let's go across the bridge. Uh, trench coat. Go, keep going, dude. Keep going. Right, what the hell's this? Right, we found another town. Am I getting cold as well? Can I put a puffer jacket on? Can you wear a puffer jacket and a leather coat and iron armor? It would appear that you can. We got all the things. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wouldn't try far, we'll uh, engage the light. I'll tell you what, putting points into this stamina makes such a difference. Not to mention the fact we've got an extra 35 points of stamina compared to what we had all day yesterday. Not hungry, not thirsty. Seems weird, that. The fuck is that? Oh, that's a deal up. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed I've actually got all the right equipment on me for a first time ever, I think. Okay. Let's go, bro. It's just a Z, don't worry. Oh, I just I just saw that. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. The sweet, sweet blue light of home. <laughs> so we stumbling around now, blinded by the light. Whoa, where am I going? <laughs> Gotta put his shades on. He's alright, look, he's got his goggles on. Oh, it's the shadow. I was back to say, it looked like the spikes at all. Oh, Jesus. Got you, got you, got you. I remember that. that made me stop dead in my tracks then. Sweet. Absolutely bloody brilliant, mate. Top fucking banana, this is. Right, what do we bring back? Oh. Why can't I access my chest? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's not good, is it? What's got Oh, what's happened, guys? What the hell? I can't access my chest. <gasps> what the fuck? What the hell's going on, bro? That, that was a slightly worrying moment there, not going to lie. 
Um, so this is like, uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, we'll do what you said, uh, Fortune, about is it paper and cloth or is it just paper for, for explosives? Um, that's all organic crap, so cloth can go in there. <laughs> Seems fine now. So this is all ex potentially explosive stuff, right? Uh, there's nothing to do with... Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, and gunpowder, I suppose, was the other thing. Did we have any of that in here? Hmm. Weird, isn't it? You can get it, it's just got to get the right angle. It, it didn't seem to be quite so cheesy before. Uh, no, we haven't got any. That's a shame. Cotton can go in. Uh, shall we make... Let's, let's make a bedroll. Let, let's, let's put a bedroll in the top of the tower. Um, what do I need? Some plant fibres as well. Uh, take those. Let's make a bedroll. Craft. I think craft makes a difference, yeah. Okay. Oh, can't see shit. It's really weird. Before, before it was just, it, you know, just looked at it. It, it wasn't even slightly uh, fidgety about it. But right, so we're going to take these. It's rockers. There you go, rockers. Little dance for you, dude. How you doing, man? Right. Uh, that's all organic, so we don't want any of that. Um, that can get switched out. The shades will keep on us. Um, everything else is organic, isn't it? So let's come out of that. That will all go in here. Weird, mate. Really weird. Like I said, crouching seems to 100% solve that. So, large pain. They sound like dogs, which is not good. Feathers. So, we've got 48 iron, quite a few normal. Got a nice stockpile of those. We'll put the glass back. Go and put the bedroll upstairs. Um, anything else that we need to do? Shall we try? We're not hungry. We've got loads of water. Uh, we'll we'll do, plant the trees next week. We've got a busy day tomorrow. And what we do want is the wood we picked up. Uh, probably don't need that much wood, but... So today, there's a very good chance we're going to die today because we're heading back into the city to try and shore up Fort Bob, which never goes well. Um, actually, you know what? It would make more sense not to put... Ah. See, if we put... I'm going to have to drink my coffee. If we put the bedroll here and we die tomorrow, we've got to run from here back to Fort Bob, which makes no sense because we're going to be working at Fort Bob tomorrow. So we'll leave the bedroll and we'll put it here tomorrow, as in tomorrow after day 49. <laughs> I, I tell you what, Simpson, you've got no idea how careful I was dancing on the edge there, mate. <laughs> Yeah, that works 100%, Tempest. Thanks, everyone, in chat about the uh, the crouch tip. Definitely. So are we 100% certain I cannot put a roof on this? If I put a roof on this, it's going to collapse, right? Guaranteed. So we just don't do it, yeah? Actually, I'm getting hot. Look. Uh, look at this boy. Let's take off the shirt. Because that's the... Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was the puffer jacket, actually. Yeah, it's cooling down now, look. It'll be alright. Oof. 
How you doing then, Rockers? What are you having to? Uh, uh, you having your curry tonight, or do you have it yesterday, mate? We're having it tonight. Looking forward to it, man. You tried anything unusual recently, Rockers? I fancy trying something a bit different. I've, I've kind of been very much with the Jalfrezies, Madras, Bulties, that kind of stuff, mate. You uh, had a bit of a tangle with anything a little bit off the off the normal menu? Yeah, I mean, a wood roof would be nice, wouldn't it? But I, like I said, the problem is, is when it collapses, it takes a whole fucking tower. It doesn't just collapse the roof. It literally collapses the entire perimeter. All I'm left with is like a 3x3 three three grid of concrete with a hatch in the middle. Everything else, everything you can see on the screen now disappears. Achari. Uh, no, mate. What is it, though? Because sometimes they're called different things, aren't they? Tell me more, mate. An Achari. Temp is washing his hands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think we should. I don't think we should ever risk building higher than this. Um, to be honest, we don't need to. Uh, it doesn't really need a reef. Um, I mean, what I could do is in one corner of the house and inclement weather protection, maybe a very small corner. Um, just so we can sit underneath it and let the rain not fall on us. But the, I suppose the beauty of it having this, one, it's not so claustrophobic. And secondly, um, we can actually shoot the wasps if they attack. Whereas before it would have been a little bit tricky, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's like a tangy curry. Oh, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not, no, I don't like pickles, mate. I'm not a fan of pickles. I have to have, I have to dig the menu out. Have a proper look what they've got. Right, I'm going to drink my coffee, thanks. I love my chilies rockers, to be honest. That's why I like the Joe Frazzy so much. Can't go wrong with the child Frazy. Hey, 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 last week, right, the girlfriend ordered the curry and made a bit of a boo-boo. And in fairness, I don't think she did. I think it was the guy that took the order, made the boo-boo. And instead of getting a keema naan, I got a keema rice, which, when I opened it, looked fucking horrendous, mate. And I tell you what, it was absolutely delicious. It was, it was like basically boiled rice, but... It had got loads of, like, the keema meat in it. Um, and, and a few other things, and God knows what. Um, but, you know, really, really quite tangy rice. Very, very tasty, but very, very filling as well. I didn't even know they did keema rice, mate. Well, that's what the girlfriend has for. She loves vegetable barges and things. Vegetable barges, vegetable samosas. Yeah, pickles are... Base banana. Don't want to be fucking with them things. Yeah, I've never heard of it, Rockers. I was like, what the hell is this? And it was, it was only when I opened the nan bread and realised the nan bread was a plain nan. And then sort of put two and two together and actually saw the big chunks of keema in it. I thought, oh my God, you know, we've ended up with a plain nan and a keema rice. Yeah, keema's gorgeous, Simpsy. Can't go wrong with it. I love all this, like, the shish kebabs, you know, the tandoori chickens, all that stuff that's a starter normally. I love that. I love lamb samosas, chicken samosas, dipped in a really nice, um, spicy kind of um, chilli sauce. Oh, gorgeous. Spinach sarg, gorgeous, mate. Tell you what, I'm not a big fan of spinach, but you put spinach in a curry and I'll eat it until the fucking cows come home, mate. Spinach and chicken and curry. Absolutely gorgeous. Rosella chicken, gorgeous, mate. That's a good idea. Actually, you know what, Rockers? You've just sold me, mate. Rosella tonight. <laughs> Decision made. Top banana. <laughs> you love Indian food, but it's hard to get and expensive. Is it really Tempest? See, I'm from Birmingham in the UK, mate. I mean, 
literally, it, it just, it's everywhere. Uh, there's a place called the Lady Pool Road in Birmingham, and it's literally just uh, like miles of curry houses. And so you can imagine they all compete with one another. So they're always coming up with more flamboyant dishes. It's amazing. I don't actually live in Birmingham anymore, but every time we go down there, that's the place to go. It's actually quite a nice night out as well, just wandering down. It's got a lovely vibe, you know, really good sort of uh, community spirit to it all. Tandoori is great, yeah. Clay, clay oven. Is it clay ovens with a tandoori? You ever seen them do a nan bread in a clay oven? I, I didn't realise how they did it. It's pretty impressive, actually. No, I wouldn't eat a spinach pie. I don't like pies, to be honest. In fact, the only, you know what? The only pie that I like is the, is the cheap and cheerful. I love a pucker pie with some nice salt and vinegary chips, chicken and mushroom, fucking gorgeous. And also the Frey Bentos, uh, chicken and, I think it's chicken and mushroom. Um, oh, mate, uh, they, you know, a proper Frey Bentos with that big six and a half inch high pastry crispy topping if you get it right in the oven. Those are my student days. <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee in case you're wondering what the fuck I'm doing, by the way. Oh, it's great down there, rockers, mate. <laughs> if we ever get ever, ever win the lottery, mate, I'll tell you what, we'll fly everyone down to the Ladypool Road by by chopper. <laughs> we'll all go out for a curry down the Ladypool Road. That would be wicked to be able to do that, mate. I'd love to do that for everyone. That'd be mad. <laughs> you do Mexican like the Brits do Indian. Oh, really, Tempest? Right, okay, mate, cool. <laughs> Fortune starving, look. Have you ever tried Spanakopitas? I've never even heard of Spanakopita. I don't know what it is, mate. I, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not a really big fan of um, pies. I know, um, like, Chasina's always baking like what look like gorgeous, gorgeous pies, but I'm just not a fan of them. I find them quite filling um, just because of the pastry, whereas I suppose the pies that I eat, like I'm talking pucker pies and Frey Bentos pies, there's not a lot of pastry, really. It's really there just to hold the meat and the sauce. I've, I've had what are not supposedly nice pies, and it's it's just too much there. I feel like I'm having to chew my way through a bready pastry to get to the goody stuff. I know, I know that's not all pies. I, it's just a bad experience, presumably. Oh, it's Red Dwarf with Lister and everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he loved his curries. <laughs> Who, who was it in Red Dwarf? I've got, I've got, you've got Cat, you've got... Was Lister the hologram? What was the name of the main dude with the dreadlocks? Uh, what was his character's name? It was him who liked the curries, wasn't it? His Vindaloo's and his uh, pint of lager. <laughs> I, I was thinking about those giant uh, transport choppers for Fortune, and we'll all get in a normal one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to pay the price for that one. <laughs> Walrus R Us. <laughs> I still don't know that even came about, that joke. <laughs> you miss pudding pies. Lister. Was it Lister? I thought Lister was the hologram. Oh, Rim. Oh, of course. Rim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be home in time for breakfast. <laughs> Holly was awesome. Dave. He was always talking about Dave, wasn't he? <laughs> Dave Lister. <laughs> they were funny, but I think they're actually on Netflix in the UK at the minute, you know. The whole Red Dwarf series. I like Cat, I did. Thought he was funny. <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember the one where everything was backwards and Cat had been out playing with all, all the female cats <laughs> and that, that look on his face when it dawned on him <laughs> fucking smeg head <laughs> oh Jesus mate oh my cheeks are killing me I always laugh so much when I'm streaming it's good fun Good fun. <laughs> Even when shit's going horribly wrong. <laughs> what
What do you mean by the newer ones, Simpsy? Um, I mean, I, I honestly can't remember how many series they did, to be fair, because I, I didn't really watch them when they were happening on TV. You know what I mean? Uh, I'd always have them recorded and, you know, watch them a few weeks late. Remember the old VHS tapes and all that malarkey? I quite often watch them completely out of order as well, because I'd like, you know, I'd have like six or seven shows, you know, on VHS, and I'd be around a friend's house, and we'd watch one, and... I mean, they never re... There was never a reboot, was there? I mean, there was any of the old sort of series. That they've not, like, redone anything, have they? Oh, my God, they made two new series of Red Dwarf this year. Fucking no way. What, with the same characters, the same actors? Or just like a, a complete reboot? Oh, I'll, have to, I'll have to at least watch one to uh, gauge my uh, opinion. That, that, that's fucking... Yeah, I'll make a note of that. So we've got a Rosala, and we're going to check out the new Red Dwarf. There you go, that's my evening's uh, entertainment. I don't think the girlfriend will be too happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not the Rizala. <laughs> Can't be as bad as a chicken vindaloo, mate. And it's the same guys doing it. No way, that's mad. Oh, it'd be good just to see them all back together, to be honest. Body swap. <laughs> yeah, I'll check it out. Right, it's nearly time to go. So today we are heading to um, the town. I can never remember its name. But it's a horrible place and it's full of fucking dogs, basically. We're going to try and shore up as much of it as we... Ooh. Wrong button. Shore up as much of it as we can. Um, we're basically taking a load of wood with us. So what I'm going to do on the way there, we're going to... Make, we've got 100 wood frames. I think what we'll also do is we'll make wood log spikes. Now, Simps is a big fan of these. So let's make... Imagine they're in rows of 10. Say 80. I did not type 100. I typed 80, please. What the hell? There you go. Thank you. So we'll take a load of wooden spikes. That will still leave me with 2,400 wood. Um, you know what? Why risk it? Let's take a few more. Uh, let's take another couple of thousand wood. Let's see what we'll do as well. Obviously, lock up home. Just make sure. Oh, on one actually. Uh, I tell you what, fuck it. I was going to have some bacon and eggs or something, but ooh, that's noisy. You are not hungry. And no doubt not thirsty either. Good to go. Travelling lights. Got food on us. Well, actually, no, we haven't got food on us. We need to take some food for the evening. What should we have? Uh, bacon and eggs doesn't actually smell, right? Oh, it fucking does. Bacon and eggs didn't used to smell, did it? <sighs> They've changed that. Crafty sods. And you know what? Because of the dogs, I'm going to go for first aid kits. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them next to the bow. So quick, quick flick over. Heal up. Got food. Got a bottle of water. Got that. Should we take a jar of honey just in case? That'll cure us if... Um, gives, gives wellness can cure the first stage of an infection. I have no idea what to do with this mouldy bread. I'm guessing I can cook it up somehow. Um, we'll, go, we'll go and try that tomorrow when we come back for the campfire because we're going to cook up some of the meat with the eggs. We'll make some more bacon and eggs when we get back over here if we survive tonight. What do antibiotics do? Can cure infections and dysentery. Should we just take the honey? Actually, no. I'm guessing these are, these are more effective, right? Should we just take like an antibiotic? Yeah, all right, looks good. Six o'clock, let's go. Hello, Kyle. Long time no see. Crichton. <laughs> I forgot about Crichton. Yeah, we all, yeah, we all missed Crichton, didn't we? The robot. 
Android. What the fuck? Rimmer's dead? Are you shitting me, Sky? I didn't know that. Oh my god, that's awful. Moldy bread, basket, nitrate, madness, antibiotics. <laughs> what? I can't believe they were mentioning Crichton. Jesus, he, he was like star of the show most of the time. What he's pain in the ass. Um, are you seriously telling me that the guy that played Rimmer is no longer with us? I did not know that, man. What was the, what was the actor's name? Ah, right, ready to go. Um, he was. Um, oh, he also did that thing with the leisure centre, didn't he? Where it was like the manager of a leisure centre in the UK. That was quite funny. Ah, oh, did I bring the bedroll? Ah, didn't mean. Oh shit! Didn't mean to bring that. There's a lot. I was gonna say, fucking hell, mate. I was, I, I was like, surely I'd have known about that. Like, I mean, uh, all my mates kind of grew up watching Red Dwarf. I'm sure someone would have mentioned it if Rimmer had died. Is that his name, Chris Barry? I don't think I ever even knew his name, to be honest. I always knew him as uh, Rimmer. <laughs> Smoke me a kipper, I'll be home in time for breakfast. The British Empire, that was it. That was it. Yeah, I enjoyed that. His wheelings and dealings. What was the what was the guy's name? He played uh, oh god, uh, Lister, because he got in a lot of trouble, didn't he? He was accused of very, very, very terrible things, wasn't he? Was it Craig? Someone Craig? No, I, I can't think of his name there. I mean, I've got to admit, you always got the impression he was a bit of a bad boy. But the stuff he got, I mean, I obviously won't talk about it too much. But yeah, I mean, he got accused of some pretty dark shit, didn't he? Um, I don't know whether he actually uh, kind of got convicted of anything. But, um, hmm. I remember the first time I sort of saw Crichton as such. You know, as in not being Crichton. It's, it's kind of really bizarre, isn't it? This is what he's so used to seeing in that, that amount of makeup as such. Craig Charles. That, oh, fuck me. I remember someone sort of telling me he was in Coronation Street. Yeah, I was like, no, fuck off. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're right. He you was, wasn't he? Craig Charles, yes. Right, so we need to get into Tower Bob. So let's mark it up. Uh, with a quick waypoint, always a lot easier to follow the red flag than anything else. We've got our bow out. We can quick switch to these if we need to. Keep an eye open for dogs. We're not hot. We're not cold. Stamina's looking good. We will just regenerate at the top of the lip here. We're going to keep our keep our sights open. We always prefer the sort of like approach from the bridge, don't we? Right, there's Tower Bob in the distance. Don't like going down this main street, I'm going to be honest. Oh, no, no, he, he was he was charged of a damn sight more than a bit of fucking drug taking, trust me. Yeah, he was, he was accused of unacceptable, truly unacceptable things. Um, like I said, I, whether or not he got convicted, I genuinely don't know. Might not even have gone to trial for all I know. Right, there, there's, there's the, the tower. So, do you think it might be worth just having a really quick scatter? Oh, no, 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 because we... Ah, shit. Hang on. We're trying to do this, aren't we? Uh, we're gonna want the claw hammer. Uh, t -t 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 spikes. We're gonna want. I 
I think we were most worried about that corner over there last time, weren't we? Let's get the light on so we can see what the fuck's going on. Oh, Jesus, look at this, mate. This is where basically we're bunkering up for, for the night here. So we're going to try and make it so the whole fucking thing doesn't collapse on us. Because it is imminently about to. <laughs> More than we could possibly hope to. Uh... Oh, God, it's a miracle it's fucking standing, isn't it, really? He was acquitted of that, was he, Simpson? Oh, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. I mean, you know, sometimes I know a lot of people will say there's no smoke without fire, but, um, yeah, that, that's good to know. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Just charged with drugs. Ah, uh, well. As long as he weren't hurting anyone or selling it to young kids outside school. <laughs> No one really gives a shit, do they? Probably not the best attitude to have, but it's the real world, innit? Ooh. Right, okay. Starting to feel a little bit better about this. Um, actually, we seem to be doing quite a good job of shoring it up, actually. Uh, I think I might leave myself just a little... very quick get out of, get out of dodge there. You know what the other side's like? It's, they're not looking too bad, is it? I'm almost wishing we'd brought cobblestone now. I expect it to be like literally completely gone, so I thought cobblestone might take us too long, but uh. Oh shit. How am I doing? How am I doing? I've got 52 blocks left, right? So much easier with a claw hammer, isn't it? I was going to be alright a bit longer, I think, you know? Okay, looking good. Jack, how are you doing, man? I'll see you for a while, dude. What have you been up to? Wouldn't it be hysterical if I'm doing this? I'd do something that just knocks the whole building down while I'm sitting here. Oh, God, imagine how pissed I'd be. I don't even know where the fucking corner of this building was. <laughs> it's just completely gone, look. Oh, I don't really, don't really want to be outside, that's the thing. Strike go mainly. How are you getting on with it, man? What the fuck's going on with that sound bite? <laughs> oh, we've definitely fill that up that way a lot. Does that mean you can see a cop? Is there a cop somewhere? <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, you got real panicked. Is 
was it. We came prepared. We brought the wood. We brought the blocks. The whole thing is very nearly Sean. Sean of the sheep. Awesome, mate. Okay, not looking bad. A lot of my main support pillars have gone there. But uh, now we've stopped them getting in. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's make, oh, what do you reckon, another 50. We might have just enough time to nip out and get some um, spikes down as well. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, over the last week, very, I can't remember when we started back on Seven Days to Die. Um, I think it was last Saturday, in fact, if I recall correctly. Is that right, boys and girls? Yeah, definitely given the, uh, the support pillars we... I mean, look at these. I've really given them a bashing, haven't they? I'll tell you what, let's um, just move that. Oh, shit. Sorry. Move that there. Be a bit quicker, won't it? All looks good. Wow, that still got pounded. Holy shit. That's not good. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, just reinforce some of these areas, look. I put one down there. <laughs> I've got to get out, mate. There's nothing, I, I, I sort of posted the barricade myself. It's so well, I've got to spend the next three hours digging my way out to get back up top, dude. Okay, any any obvious weaknesses? Uh, obviously, that's my door out. This is my this is the main tower up there. So those three supports all look pretty solid, if you ask me. Um, we, we built that one up, so that's back. That support's looking pretty tasty there. Uh, I mean, I suppose I could try and reduce access to this. Just a little bit, I suppose. Although, I'd argue not that. Right, let's go and do a little bit of work outside with the, um, the spikes. So it looks like we've got this area here's all pretty honky dory. I don't want to put spikes there because that's where I come out. I really hurt myself last time, didn't I? This corner was really bad, wasn't it? Um, so I think we should definitely put spikes down here. Zombie defences in the pissing down. Oh my god, that's really close, dude. Oh no. Oh, or is oh fuck, we got time. Oh, I, I can actually see it, dude. Whoop, whoop. Oh, the control is fucking awesome, Jacko. Honestly, mate. It's absolutely brilliant. I really, really just totally gobsmacked, dude. Really, really surprised. Oh my giddy fucking aunt! Meerkat that motherfudger up. Sniper rifle schematic. And an SMG schematic. 
Holy shit, bro. Oh, dude. All right, let me just bring these into here. So we can be super efficient with our toolbar. Oh. You're right, stunning toaster, how are you, mate? Uh, we're just showing up, ready for um, day 49, mate. Just getting uh, some defences down. They, they seem to really like coming in from this side, don't they, so... It's actually going remarkably well, isn't it? I really shouldn't have said that, but... I don't want any any over there because that's my other alternate exit, isn't it? Give me some of that. No. Okay, that's looking pretty tight, pretty tight indeed. Uh, let's just get rid of that. I definitely heard something then. Hmm. Is the ladder intact? Yeah, all looks okay over there. Uh, now I don't, because sometimes I like to drop and run through here, so I'm not gonna... I suppose what I could do Yeah, that's okay. Oh, Jesus. Oops. Yeah, because we do, we do quite often jump in here. In fact, if I come to the right... No, because I need to be able to go either way, don't I? I suppose what I could do... They quite often come around this corner, don't they? Trying to get to me as I'm sniffing around on my descent. So if we do this, it might, if we're lucky, chop their legs off so they can't run at me. And it will certainly help against the dogs if they're uh, sniffing around, won't it? Looking, looking pretty tasty, mate. Looking pretty tasty. Uh, let's put another row in here. God, Bob's never been so well protected in all his life, has he? It's 2.57. Uh, I'm actually out of spikes. Uh, should make another 40 spikes. Not overly happy with that. Oh shit, I'm out of wood. Oh! oh. Well, I don't think there's much else I can do, to be fair. I mean, that, that that's a pretty good start, isn't it? I mean, yes, we could go and chop a few more trees down. What I'm worried about is, is risking it for a biscuit. Ending up out there, dog comes. I'll always be asking myself, was it worth it? Then we've got a better, better, better um, escape route now with those spikes. Never thought of doing that. Because my biggest issue is exit from Fort Pop. So hopefully, with those um, spikes put really heavily in that corner, 
you know, if they do try and come around from that side, we've almost sort of... Because they, they seem to lose their legs on spikes, is something I've noticed. Loads of wood left. What are we on about? Hey, bales for jumping. Oh, we forgot about that fortune. Shit, yeah, mate. Fuck. Why is it not letting me finish that block off if I've got. Oh, maybe it's just me misclicking. So we can either drop down the ladder, sneak in and out and just leg it. I mean, what, what would be ideal is I could bring like a, a four strip of spikes all the way along here to there. And the same across there. And then I've always got to run straight down that alley, haven't I? But I think, I think that's for another day. <laughs> uh, I mean, I suppose to give you an idea... It would just be sort of like that. I mean, I know they'll just clamber over them, but... Well, that's weird. Still got to slow down a little bit, surely. It's really weird. It's like it's trying to upgrade the metal. Right, that's it. So we drop down if we have to this side and then just run. Or we can drop down that side and just get out of here. Um, give me a little runway there, maybe. Right, that's it. I'm not risking it. There's nothing else to be achieved here today. I've still got to get up and out of here yet. Come on, come on, gentle, 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 yes. There you go. And there's fucking Bob, look. You alright, Bob? Hey there, bro. Home sweet home. We have been living the dream out in the real world, Bob. Nice hair, sir. Nice hair. What's that, Alex? Why do I have a seven days to die map in Russian? You what, mate? <laughs> what? <laughs> it clearly says... Counter. What? What's that, Alex? What are you on about, dude? Uh, those airdrops are about one plane, three trains, four buses, and a taxi right away from me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Rockers, I have to say, right, mate, I, I, I've been for two. I mean, well, I think we've got about four, but there were two in particular that stand out where it was in the distance, mate, and, and literally, as I got to the point where it was like, well, look, we, we're not going to find it, as I sort of almost turned to head back,